Welcome to NJCTL's online physics courses. We have several physics courses appropriate for students all the way from middle school up to high school. The first three courses cover all the content in a one-year physics course. We have mathematical physics, which is a middle school course. Then we transition to algebra-based physics, and then finally trigonometry-based physics. There are four AP courses, which will prepare you for the AP exams in physics, and also cover all the material in those, in those exams. First one is AP Physics 1, then we have AP Physics 2, then AP Physics C Mechanics, and AP Physics C Electricity and Magnetism. The last two courses are appropriate for college level engineering type courses. Let's go back to the middle school first. In the eighth grade, you can take Mathematical Physics, which is a phenomenon based physics course where we explain how rockets, roller coasters, and mobile phones work using mechanics and electricity and magnetism principles. It does not require algebra. You then move on to algebra-based physics, which as the title indicates, you need algebra for. You can take it concurrently with the course, and that will cover a lot more. That will cover mechanics, electricity and magnetism, and then modern physics, including nuclear physics, some quantum physics. Yes, at a ninth grade level, we explain what that is. Waves, stuff like that, pretty good stuff. We then move up to trigonometry-based physics, which covers much the same material as the algebra-based physics, except now you need trigonometry. So you're getting into two-dimensional activities there. So it's a little more complex, which means the problems are more fun, a little bit trickier. Then, AP Physics 1, that is mechanics, concentrates totally on mechanics with a little bit of electricity at the end. And that will have things like uh, kinematics, dynamics, how things move, energy, topics like that. AP Physics 2 then will be the electricity and magnetism part along with modern physics and some other topics like thermal physics. Uh, what else do we have there? Fluids, it's a very good course. Then you move on to AP Physics C. Both the mechanics and electricity and magnetism courses require calculus. So if you have a knowledge of that ahead of time, great. And if not, there's a, a short prep course on calculus before the AP Physics C mechanics. You do well on the exam, the AP exam there, and you can validate college level credits for physics. And even if you don't validate it, you've got a great head start on taking physics in college. A student who is enrolled in our courses will learn the content through direct instruction with videos, which are basically presentations with somebody talking over it, explaining what's going on. Interspersed with the direct instruction are a number of formative assessment questions, so you can check to see if you're understanding what's there. Then what's also available after that would be labs. Uh, most of them are online. Uh, you can then take mastery exercises, which are multiple choice questions, and they actually tests and quizzes online also. So that's basically it. Everything from eighth grade all the way up to senior year of high school and with the AP, the AP courses, that's college level stuff. And you can do this on your own at your own pace.